Hello guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to another episode of Overfall. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. Guys, thank y'all so much for all the amazing support on the Overfall series. As always, if you do enjoy the videos, make sure to give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. So now that we've kind of given you some introduction of the gameplay and kind of how it goes, I can go through this area a little bit with uh, a little bit more finely this time so these are your character creation screens now i did show you earlier that there were classes available which you can't select right now um, you can unlock these and there's hints serenity reigns on an island inhabited by one who lives in perpetual prayer she has many secrets to impart to those blessed by the sun um, unlock hint for the guardian in a village on the brink of civil war a holy protector seeks to help of those who are tough and experienced at resurrecting an ally so there's all sorts of unlock hints for all of these classes that you can unlock and right now we don't have any unlocked also and you can see there's weapons it says unlock hint someone with a distinct ability to sense blood magic might be useful while searching for a bloody weapon so you basically probably need to recruit somebody that can sense blood magic um unlock hint for this breath of Ian is in the lands of the cold burn in the least of your concerns some yelling and cursing may actually help you with this one so there's a ton of different things that you can select from these are all the different abilities that come with the weapon uh, the skills are available to change as well but we only have three skills so we can only select from those right now these are not available yet uh, again making a stand even when you're torn apart is how you get the stance some very very um, I guess <laughs> you could say uh, big riddles to, to figure out how to unlock different things. Uh, the trinkets, on the other hand, I have unlocked a few of those as you go. And basically, when you're adventuring and you come across things to unlock these trinkets or find the trinkets, you can equip them as you go. So right now we have this one equipped. What is this? This is the Reaper's Harvest. It increases accuracy by two and critical chance by 5% for each foe you kill with a direct hit in a single match. Fades when the fight is over. So to we can change these out with the two that's available here. Void leave whenever you miss an attack, next weapon attack on you misses. And Heart of Olath removes two debuffs from yourself upon killing an enemy. So those are some decent uh, abilities here, but I think what we have right now is Essence of Life, the Reaper's Harvest, and vampir vampiric insignia are the three best for this character as well so i'm gonna name these two characters on this run after two of my patreons and their names are mark and lisa and mark and lisa are good friends that come to the conventions with us and stuff like that and mark and his son drew's a gamer just like me and we talk a lot and I really like them and they've been some supporters of the channel for a long time now so welcome mark and lisa to the overfall uh now let's see here the same thing applies with lisa here light bearer she needs some different stuff language of a maiden harvester of sorrow uh apparently these will just come to us in quest you guys and there's a few things that we can get uh we can only equip these things uh chalice of angel have 30 percent to apply agony to attackers for each buff on you Wow, that's pretty darn good because we usually have a couple buffs. Uh, Heart of Olath removes two deep buffs and Void Leaf. What are these? Whenever you apply a beneficial skill on an ally, you have 30% chance to get the exact same effects. This is awesome. The Chalice of the Angel. Uh, Arcane Magnet, you have 25% chance to steal one buff from every adjacent foe on turn start. And Seed of Creation, you have 10% chance to heal every ally in your party by one when you're using a skill. Those are very, very good trinkets, so I'm going to leave them as is. All right, let's get started with the run. So I did not go through the story last time, so I'll go ahead and go through it this time briefly. I can't believe my eyes, you're them. It's been three centuries since you entered the portal, and now you're back. Who are you? I'm the last member alive of the Portal Keepers. In other words, my family. Portal Keepers? The name of my family has been carrying. We watched the portal for generations for the day you would return. The same duty descended from my parents to me. 
That means everyone we knew is dead? I'm sorry, I know how it feels. I lost my beloved ones and my quest too. But you must focus now. So all of this time I have different things that I can ask. And this time it's going to go to, uh, to Mork. God's no. For generations my family has been waiting your arrival. Right at this spot. And I'm the lucky one to fulfill your family our family prophecy now. I think there's been an anomaly in time when we entered the portal. You have a wisdom to understand the difference, but not many could foresee this would happen expect, except for one wizard. Why have you been waiting for us? A mighty wizard, Izel, gave this quest to my grandfather's father, or grand-grandfather, <laughs> whatever that is, or great-grandfather, I suppose, for the day you would return. The world isn't the same since you left. The Everking is gone missing. All right, the almighty Everking has gone missing? The Citadel has vanquished long ago. No one knows why or how, but Izel left my family a message to hide and deliver to you for when this day comes. A message? Two beacons will be unsealed, one of those who are revered. Their light will unveil the path to the king only when the races of dyes seem you worthy. Then we should introduce ourselves to the leader of dyes first if we are to find those beacons. If that's true, then you should make your way up in their society first. Times have changed. The world of chaos. The world is in chaos. Uh, times have changed. The races are at war with each other. You have to choose sides, I'm afraid. On the bright side, if there's any, the message says two beacons. All right. Thanks. So, you can actually steer that conversation a couple different ways, get some more information, and sometimes they give you some starting equipment. Um, but I didn't want to duplicate that um, this time because I forgot really <laughs> which way it was. So anyway, we're going to start out again. It looks like we're kind of in the same boat as last time. So we just need to start exploring islands right away, I suppose. Now, again, we can start making enemies with ships and stuff like that. Let's check these adventure ships and see what we can do. We'll start getting some quests. If I can catch this guy. Hopefully we won't have to fight too many Vorn. I could use space to use my dust and get there faster, but we'll see what's going on. You encounter a group of adventurers. Heard any rumors of Discord? Yes, yeah, so we got a quest. All right, that quest is to go to the right here. Uh, let's check this island while we're here. As you explore the island, a goblin merchant approaches with panic. Please, the Vorn, they're attacking our camp, our goods, dust, everything is burning. Let's go help them. Oh my gosh, okay, so we do have a couple helpers here, which is going to be good. Okay, assist the goblins. So this is going to give us some goblin, um, I guess you could say some some pluses for a goblin reputation. Uh, let's see here, we could just go right in here. This wouldn't hit him. This would hit him. Yeah, let's do that. All right, and now we'll use Unbreakable and Chop. All right. Yeah, shoot somebody, dude. What are you doing? Yes, shoot. Good. Four damage. That's what I'm talking about. Hopefully they draw their fire. I would rather them hit these guys than us because we won't have to worry about healing these guys. Just so we win the quest, right? That's all that matters. Seven points of damage. That is so deadly, man. So ridiculously deadly. Okay. So, let's see. Let's go here. And... I'm going to use... I'm going to use regen. Can I attack? No, I can't. Dispel. No. Numbing light. Scream. I think I'm just going to skip the utility phase for now. And let's do retribution. They have a lot of HP. He's burning and he's bleeding. Alright. He attacked us a little bit. That's no biggie. Uh, we can skip the movement phase because we don't need to. Let's do incapacitate just in case we miss. And then we'll do cleave. All right. He's dead. Good. Shoot somebody, man. Wow. That was like a volley of arrows. 
I wish we had an AoE skill. Well, we do have some AoE skills. It's just how we use them. Please don't hit us. All right. The, that other guy's dead. <laughs> that didn't last too long. All right. I can pull to heal. Let's do that. And let's also cast Numbing Light on ourselves, I think. That'll probably be better. Wave of Light. We can hit him from here. Uh, yeah, let's do that. All right. That did a little bit of damage. That's good. And we can move in here. Unbreakable. Let's do Earth Crack. And we'll do Chop. There we go. And he's bleeding. Very good. So the next turn we'll be able to use Execute on him. Most likely. And do... Oh yeah. For sure. If we hadn't killed... Oh wow! That just killed him. He was burning and bleeding for two. Alright. So we're safe. He's doing six damage a piece, man. That's really tough. Alright. I don't think I'll be able to hit him with anything here. Dispel, we can dispel all those regen and, and all of that good stuff. Oh, yeah, we can hit him retribution. We'll take it. Oh, we missed. All right, but we can do heroic leap. All right, that was a crit. We'll do unbreakable. And let's use... Is he bleeding? No, he's not bleeding. Blind would be great on him right now. Let's do. Let's try to do execute for blind. It did not blind him. All right. If you could kill him right now, that would be sweet, dude. Yes, thirteen. Wow. You defeat Vorn and clear the camp. Okay. Mark gain rigorous. Increase accuracy stat by five. That's what I'm talking about. Plus two food and goblin reputation plus one. Oh look. All the, at all this mess. If it wasn't for you, we would be there. Would be nothing left. Thanks for the humans. Wait. Thanks for helping humans. All right. He called us humans, pretty much. Okay. Be careful. All right. So we got that quest done. Let's head to the Grassland Island, and that's where our other quest is: Human and Hollow Settlement. While exploring the island, you meet a baker in the local village. He seems upset about something. Ask the baker what's the matter. The baker explains that his rival has stolen the magic dust he uses to bake his special bread. What kind of bread you're baking over here? You can have Marco's magic multigrain without magic dust. It just defeats the whole purpose. I got you. Offer to retrieve Marco's magic dust. He lives in a house on the other side of the island. Oh, I'll bake you some of my magic multigrain if you can help. Okay, Marco's eyes well up with tears of gratitude. Very good. Head to the rival's house. You enter the rival's house only to discover... Who are you and what are you doing here? Uh, Marco? The baker shakes his head. Nope, I'm Okram. Marco's my brother. What's the deal? Uh, let's see. Convince Okram to return Marco's dust. Okram looks ashamed at his thievery. Okay, fine. He can have the stupid dust. Tell him I'm sorry. Uh, relay the news to Marco. There's a knock on the door and Marco enters. He was listening all alone. The brothers look at each other and embrace. Let's never fight again. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> In celebration, the two brothers cook some magic multigrain and give it to you as a gift. We got two food for that. All right. That's cool. <laughs> All right. That was a funny story. All right. Let's see here. So we need another quest now, don't we? This is a Vorn ship. Okay. Swamp Island Settlement. Human and Goblin. A tavern on the island. A drunken elf challenges you to a dance contest. I'll bet you have the the agility of a horse or a hippo. What? Okay, bet two frags you can beat the elf in a dance competition. Oh, I have to. I have to. Little less conversation, a little more action, please. If you could do the same moves I did in the correct order, which I don't think you can, I win. Watch and learn, okay? Woo, how about that? Can you do that? Let's burn the dance floor. Okay, let's see. The elf dances fairly well. Her moves were hands up, jump, hands down, turn back. Wait, hands up, jump, hands down, turn back. Hands up, jump, hands down, turn back. 
Yes! Haha, <laughs> double my money. You made all the moves in the correct order. You're smoking, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Burn, baby, burn. Disco and burn. <laughs> all right, what is this here? Everguard ship. Okay, let's check that out if we can get to it. Oh, it's looking to liberate something. Let's hit the adventurer ship first. <laughs> Ahoy, heroes. Let's get a quest from them. And we'll continue moving on the way to the other quest that I have here. All right. Upon their arrival on the island, you hear that there is a riot going on against the Everguards. To hell with your protection. We don't want your so-called protection. We want freedom. Dear citizens of Everking, dismiss now or else you will be evaluated as criminals. Okay, you should not ride against the Empire, that's just wrong. Are you people crazy? You stand no chance against them. You need to be prepared first. Uh-huh, let's do that. I think he is right. We should retreat and start preparing. One of the rebels turned whispering as you get the words of attention. Okay, let's just dismiss for now. Stop, we dismiss. Hey heroes, meet us back at camp. We should get going now, sorry. No, let's let's meet him back at camp. Okay, after spending some time until Everguards leave, you go meet them at the camp. But you see the dead bodies. Everguards found out about your plan. Oh no. Came here to lead your freedom friends to victory. You are too late. Now prepare to meet the wrath of the Ever King. No, no, we tricked them to disband, but we were just checking them out. Hmm. There's only two of them, guys. They killed him, man. Let's defend. Let's defend. All right. These guys have 20 HP apiece. We can beat them. We can beat them. All right. They debuffed us both. Let's do heroic leap. All right. Doing some damage already. Okay, unbreakable. That's going to remove my two debuffs. And let's just let's start the let's start the the the, the frenzy. Okay, faithful pull. We're going to move here. We can't faithful pull yet. Scream, no numbing light. We cast numbing light. And now wave of light. Will I be able to hit one? Yeah. I won't be able to hit them both though. Retribution I can. Let's do retribution on that guy in the back. We'll try to take him out first. The blood's going to take him below half. We should be able to use execution on the next round. Ooh, that sounded juicy. Mortal wounds. And it decreases the healing effects by half, which kind of sucks. All right. We're not going to move. We're going to use earth crack. And now we're going to execute this guy. Come on, hit. Oh, eight points. Good, 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 good. That should actually do it. Um, nope, we can't do that. Move character. We will be able to heal him. We'll, we'll be able to kill him, though, for sure. Okay, we're going to dispel... Let's dispel that mortal wounds. So the regen actually takes better effect on us. And wave of light should actually kill that one dude and hurt this other dude, too. Very good, very good, very good. All right, four points of damage. I knew that was coming. All right, don't have to move the character here. We can do incapacitate. That should stop him from doing damage if it would have worked, unfortunately. Okay, let's try to apply bleed. Yeah, let's try to apply bleed. Nope, did not work. Okay, we can actually pull him in to get some healing done. Let's use numbing light. And we'll use Holy Nova. All right, that did some good healing there. I feel four more points of damage coming. Oh, only two. Oh, that's because we had Aegis. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, uh, let's get some extra damage here by doing our leap. And we'll do Unbreakable to get rid of those stupid buffs. And we'll do Cleave. All right. Unfortunately, that did not kill him. We'll move here. We'll dispel that positive buff you have, the retaliation. So you can't hurt us. And let's just do wave of light, man. 
Nice. Woo. You defeat the Everguards and make your fallen friend's wishes come true. The island is set free from the Everking's bidding. At least for some time, you feel their spirits smile upon you. Lisa gains sneaky. <laughs> Lisa, you sneaky girl. You successful direct hits have a 10% chance to apply hidden to self. That is pretty cool. We also got two food and four dust. Good loot. That was a good, that was a good mission. All right. So let's see. <sighs> Where do we go now? Hmm. We'll do one more. Let's select this island. On the island, you're invited to join a hunting party. Why, hello there, travelers. We are hunting some hollow down today. Would you like to join us with our hunting challenge? Uh, no. We're not mad at the hollow. Simple, hunt as many hollows as possible in one go. First place gets the prize. No, we are not hunting hollows. We do not hunt people for sport, even though they are not our type of people. Carrying out a solemn duty. Count on group, okay. Yep, there's plenty to go around. All right, so we got a quest from them. And an Arctic island, where is the quest? It's here. Let's go to the swamp island and see what we can do. I think this will be the last stop. A sickly green glow surrounds the swamp burial site. You run into goblins so busy screaming and squeaking they don't even see you coming. They're fighting over a bag of dust they stole earlier. You see a bag a few steps ahead of you. I see first, mine. Uh, grab the bag and run. Kindly, let's kindly, wait, they stole it, right? Yeah, they stole the bag of dust earlier. We're not going to grab it and run. Let's kindly greet them. Goblins turn around and stare at you. They look deranged. Look, big man here to take our dust. Kill big man thief. Well, you guys asked for it. Y'all asked for it. Okay, we're going to move here. And we're going to do unbreakable. And we're going to skip that phase. What kind of eyeball he's got? Is that an eyeball? Oh, wow. He hid and he did that much damage? I should have took dust and ran. <laughs> I should have took the dust and ran. All right. Uh, numbing light. And wave of light. I don't think I'll be able to hit anything there. Yep. Retribution I can't reach. Yep, we'll just skip that face. Can I not? Oh, I guess because I'm blind? That kind of sucks. Confusion. Yeah, blind. That means I couldn't even do that uh, heroic leap. I'll be able to do it next turn, though. All right. Let's chop. Good, he's bleeding. And blind went away. I'm going to take some damage here, I think. What is that? Fury? Doubles the critic strike rate. Okay. Let's move. Let's dispel that bad stuff. Nice. So all we got left is weakness. Half the damage output stacking by round. That really sucks. Uh, let's do Holy Nova. That'll heal too. Perfect. Alright. He still has weakness, huh? I shouldn't do that yet then. I think I'm going to skip my movement phase and let's use Let's use incapacitate on this guy. Perfect. And hopefully this will apply bleed. Even though it only did 2 damage and it didn't apply bleed. Okay. We got dazed and we got crippled. Alright, that missed. Good. That missed. Good, good, good. Let's do... Numbing Light. And Retribution. Very cool. Okay. Can I... No, I still can't. What is the blindness? I hate blindness. I hate it. 
sucks, man. All right. Can't do anything here. Uh-oh. Okay, that is bleeding. Okay. Unbreakable will actually fix that. Oh, I can't do the faithful pull. Nope. I can move, though. I think I'm gonna do that. Is he blind again? No, he's bone poured. Let's dispel that. And I'll do wave of light. Okay. Now, can I do heroic leap? Good, he's dead. Okay. Let's do unbreakable this time. And I'll skip my attack phase. This guy's gonna have to come in the range here. Alright, he came all the way. Eight damage? Alright, at least I could do the pull. Son of a gun, man. Let's put regen on him, too. And Holy Nova. Or I could do Retribution. Let's do Retribution. We'll do Holy Nova next turn after we move, I think. If we even have a next turn. Okay. Incapacitate. Uh, nope. Let's execute. Can we kill him? Nope, not quite. Oh man, he's gonna get more damage. Hmm. Let's dispel the bleed. And let's use Holy Nova. Actually, yeah, let's use Holy Nova. It's gonna heal him. And now we have the option to move. Huh. It's actually not going to help too much. Let's go ahead and move here. We'll use Unbreakable. Hopefully that stops us from getting any bad ailments. I really hope he doesn't do too much damage. Oh! We lived. Okay. Let's use... Can't use... Numbing Light? Yeah, I can. I don't know why it didn't pop up. That's weird. Uh, and wave a light. That should kill him right there. Done. Whew. Kill the goblin thieves. You loot their bodies and take a bag of dust. You Lisa gain Adept Healer. You get 50% chance to apply reduction on direct heals. Very, very good. We got two dust and four frags for loot. Not too bad. Well, that, you guys, is... I guess we survived. We're going to have to eat some. Let's see here. 22 for 11 food. I do have 11 food. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> that heals us back up. All right, we're back to square one, except we have zero food. Anyway, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series, guys, and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time. Everybody say welcome to PAX. Welcome to PAX. Welcome. 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 Hi. <laughs> oh, no. Say hi to Matt. Say hi, Matt. Hi, Matt.